morning. It's nice to see you all. What brownie troop is this? Seven, three, five. All right. It's a good price. Yes. Hey, Ladmo. Uh, yes. What do you want to do first? Let's find the lucky seat winner, wall boy. I have the seating chart right here. Okay, because today's a big day. It is. Uh huh. We have the winners of the funny face contest. Yeah. Yeah. And they're here for the grand face off. Judge Eddie Bath is standing by. Yes, he is. Dan Horn is on the show today, and the grand prize winner gets to make that face at Gerald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, great. Right. Woo got some. I'd like you to meet Eddie Bath. Eddie is a judge in the Funny Face Contest. He's a professional judge. He works the state fair, jams and jellies, and chili cook-offs, and we're very glad to have a man with your expertise with us today. Now, in a little while, we'll have the... We ended up with ten finalists. The judges... As you know, you and uh, Dan and Craig had such a hard time deciding that we ended up with ten finalists. They'll be seated here. Each one of the finalists will come up and make their face at you something like... <laughs> Wallace, I have to tell you, it takes a lot to make me laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I think some of these kids will put you to the supreme test. They will make the face at you, then you will decide which one you think the winner is. That sounds fair. All right, and that's coming up right after this cartoon. All right, thank you, Eddie. Well, it's time for the contest payoff. Here are the funny face winners. These are the finalists, and we're going to be looking for a grand prize winner. Once again, I'd like you to meet the judge, Eddie Bath, and the two assistant judges, Dudley Dingle and Dan Horn. All right. Now, let's meet the finalists. Here we go. Your name is? Jim Donnelly. And this is? Daisy Davis. Okay. Patty Flanner. Kimberly White. Hi, Kimberly. Kenny Burgess. Nice to see you. And this is? Eric Brown. And? Brandon Pitchak. Jason McClure. Susan Day. I want to congratulate all of you. Those Polaroids, those photos you sent in of the funny faces were really terrific. And now is when we find that grand prize winner in the face-off for the $25 and another Ladmo bag. You've each received already a Ladmo bag and $10, but this is it. Oh, and we are still looking for one of the finalists. We couldn't, <laughs> we couldn't get a hold of her. We tried. This is Jennifer Timmons. Uh, there was only one Timmons in the phone book, and it wasn't, apparently wasn't her. If anybody knows this little girl, Tell her to come on down, because she still has uh, a Ladmo bag and $10 mm -hmm. coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready. All right. We'll start with contestant number one. Here we go with the funny faces. <laughs> <laughs> contestant number two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Kimberly, take a look at the photo. He's kind of leaning out with it. Okay. <laughs> Here we wait. Wait, do it again. They didn't quite get it. All right, we have some other contestants in the back here. All right, you're on. It's your turn. Contestant number six. <laughs> and? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, you ready? Is that it? Okay. And? <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but I have a feeling this is going to be tough. <laughs> what do you think, Ladmo? It's going to be tough. All right. All ready. <laughs> Already, the judges better start conferring, <laughs> comparing notes, while we go ahead and watch the next cartoon. All right, wait a minute. One more. Give them uh, give a barrage. Everybody make your face once more for the judges. All right, here we go. All together. <laughs> cartoon time. We'll be back with the grand prize winner in just a little while. to 
check the bulletin board. The bulletin board. Every Monday night, we're at Peter Piper Pizza for the birthday parties. I'm there, Gerald. There we have games, we have prizes, we have lots and lots of fun. And the birthday kids get a Ladmo bag, wall boy. That's every Monday night at Peter Piper Pizza. That's the one at Metro Center. Give right. them a call for reservations. Call them up. All right, and now we're going to have Eddie Bath, Dudley Dingle, and Dan Horn, our judges, come in and oh. make the announcement of the grand prize winner of the Funny Face Contest. Eddie? Well, this is, it was a tough choice, oh. tough decision, yes. but this little gal here, Penny Kleenor, is that correct? I think it's Fleener. Fleener? Uh, it's Penny, where are you? Where's Penny? Come on Come up here. here. Penny. There's our winner. All right, Penny. All right. Penny. Now, let's come around here, Penny, so they can see you're kind of hidden back here. Mm -hmm. Now, you get, uh, we'll put this over here for you, you get another Ladmo bag, right. and you get another $25, which I'll just put right there for Woo! you. And we'd like to find out a little bit about you. Uh, where do you go to school? Sweetwater School. And you're how old? Ten. And what was the reaction from your fellow students when they found out you were coming down to be in the grand face-off? I don't know. I was absent. You were absent. <laughs> <laughs> were you home practicing? <laughs> All right, now, as part of your prize, you get to make that face at Gerald. That's right. Right in his face oh, good. when he comes in. He should be here momentarily. He doesn't know anything. That's him now. That's him. Oh, so if you'd come with me, Penny. All right, what's the big deal? Uh, we just had a contest. I don't care about contests. Uh, you know how I feel about contests, and you know there's only one thing that I like less than contests, and that is little, torpy, red-headed girls. Uh, oh. Penny is our winner. I don't care. In what have I got to do with a contest with a winner or any of this nonsense? It's a funny face contest. You win. All right. Part of her prize was she gets to make the face at you. No. Yes. I didn't agree to this. Go ahead. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have made a fool of me in front of the entire state of Arizona. Give me another shot. One more time. What? One more time. No. <laughs> Congratulations, cartoon time. A job well done. Um, it is time to thank our head judge, Eddie Bath, and to find out a little bit about him. Good. Where do you work? I work for KHEP Radio. They play, they play Christian music. I thought it was classical music. Well, AM plays Christian, FM plays classical. And what do you do there? I'm an announcer. You're an, all right. Well, Eddie, we're going to have more contests, and we want you to come back as a judge many times. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. We've really appreciated you being here. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Hey! Hey! It's the wizard! Come on in, Wiz! Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Go, That's Eddie Bad. <laughs> no! Did Don't you know? Me. I've been wanting to meet you for a long time. How Eddie Bath is the wizard. Wizard is Eddie Bath. Eddie, listen. There's a whole bunch of did you knows out there that you don't know. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> tell them, Wiz, tell them. First of all, Eddie, you gotta cheer up. <laughs> and then, did you know crime does not pay? Instead, it writes out bad checks. <laughs> <laughs> you get that, it writes out bad checks. See, this is how it goes. Did you know that history repeats itself? Really? Did you know that history repeats itself? Really? See, I told you that. <laughs> did you know a sailing boat for rabbits is a hair clipper. <laughs> no, I don't want to either. You don't want to know that. Wait a minute. When you start going downhill with Eddie Bath, you're in real you're trouble. In trouble. <laughs> save it. Did save you it. know that history repeats? No, oh, didn't I just say that? Wait. History is repeating itself again. To Come continue, on. did you know Henry VIII had six wives and Henry VI had eight wives? But the best Henry IV could do was be a pen pal to a respectable matron in Tennessee. <laughs> I do know that. You know that, Eddie? Did you know the history <laughs> repeats it? I just did that. Hey, maybe you're in the twilight zone. <laughs> I better get out of here. So long, Wiz. Hey, hey, yeah. did you know that history repeats itself? <laughs> hey, here's Dan Horn and Orson. <laughs> <laughs>